Hey there everyone, this is Al Gao playing Little Nemo and here he is running right into bed in order to visit Nightmare Land. I now have access to the Morning Star. Oh, you can charge a beam! And yeah, it throws diagonal and you can't move while you do that. It's pretty good. Is there any difference to charging it fully? I mean, I don't know, maybe there is and it just doesn't show it. So yeah, now I can whack things. So this thing that you had on your back all this time, yeah, it's not just a strange flower growing on his shoulder. He had this morning star all this time. Alright, but here you clearly want me to go on a lizard friend, and I don't know if I benefit from that because... Yeah, see, there I went to switch mode and that's what I got. Alright, well, here we go. Yeah, how do you do that jump, actually? That looks nigh impossible. So I might die a few times. I have no clue. Uh, as we discover what we got to- Oh, I see! So yeah, they were- So, they removed the key. The key counter, and that's why now we have room for the beam meter. That's funny. Alright, I explained some things. I guess... With the lizard, you don't jump as yeah. You you have kind of a stubby jump, and uh, that's how you do it. Then you get here, frog, and go in the spikes all day long. No one no one is bothered. Uh, I'm a little bothered. Uh, here we go. Where's lava? Whoa whoa! That fire gal actually looks pretty cool. All right, little tiny frog doesn't have hands, so I'm not afraid. I'm afraid of this though. All right, there we go. And oh, there's so many frogs. What are you all doing here? Guys, welcome to frog party, I guess. Watch out for spikes. Watch out for frog. Yeah, see Nightmare Land. Frogs that don't got all their limbs attached or at all. Sold separately. That's a real nightmare. Uh-oh, boss time? I guess so, it's a Penguin King. Oh, geez. Man, Penguin King is pretty... Like, the lizard did not have a mean to attack, so... I'm already, like, almost out of health, and bubbles are falling everywhere. Alright, did that hurt? Am I doing anything useful? Am I rescuing King Morpheus doing this? Okay, well, I mean, he doesn't like being bopped with magic, considering he just leaves after throwing up bubbles everywhere, and babies live inside his belly. It's pretty good! I got a sweet armband though. It's looking pretty cool. See, I was always confused as a kid because villainy aesthetics always looked so rad to me, but I was supposed to like, you know, be afraid or whatever. And that's kind of confusing, but that's the life you live. I don't have no way of telling if I'm being particularly effective. Like, it sounds like an encouraging sound. Yeah, okay. And, you know, he did eventually blow up, the way you expect the Penguin King to. I did it! <laughs> we, uh, uh, so, I was wondering, because then we're done, I'm just gonna seeging right in the next part, right? I was wondering if I should do a separate video per part like that, but this part would be real short, so let's just keep going. Oh, there's one up there, that's pretty good. Here we go. That crocodile is pretty hungry. See, that's a cool croc. Why can't he be a good guy? That's a cool animation for a fire flame. A fire flame. The most powerful form of fire. And man, I don't know why, but... World 8 loves himself as a lizard. Alright, look. I'll get to you, buddy. Oh, and it loves itself a flower seed thing, dandelion. They're everywhere. It's like they know... Oh, jeez. What? Oh, okay. Hitbox, bit, bit, whoa, hitbox keeps being bigger than I expect. Dang, hitbox is being so big. The life is not gonna respawn. I'm assuming if I game over, I uh, return to here, but I, I don't know. But I'm assuming. Assuming's bad. I'm doing it anyways. You can't stop me. Alright, so here we go. Yeah. You gotta goad the seed into being useless. So yeah, so... Whoa, buddy. Dude. Well, I might just game over here. Like, you got... Like, the flame does not exist on that little part of wall for a 
an extremely short amount of time. It's a little ridiculous. Eh, like, you just gotta go. Just, yeah, you just gotta be where you gotta be real quick. Ooh, frog. Do I want frog, though? Oh, boy. Like, why would frog bring me? Oh, no. But now I can't go meet frog at all because I removed lizard too early. And, like, is this even gonna be possible? I have no clue. Let's find out together. Oh, wait. What? Yeah, frog would have been too slow for this. Like, frog does not move quickly, right? Hmm. It could be crap frog, I guess. All right, I'm continuing. So, you bring- so, we redo Nightmare to Dreamland Dream 8. But do you bring me to the second phase? You don't! Oh! Okay, then. Wow, that was really short. So, charging your beam does make a difference. Confirmed. I don't think I want Frog. There's, there's no way... Because he doesn't walk fast enough for those fire plumes. Like, he just doesn't. Yeah, and see here, you need to be small to sneak into... Whoa, shoot. Oh, the jump there was bad. Like, there's two of them here. Like, how... <sighs> what? Why, why didn't you... This is going really good. I, mean, I still don't know what to do here. Yeah, like, I mean... I, I don't know where to go. Like, I do not know where to go. I don't think there's even a way for me to attach that wall. Alright. You cannot do that jump. Nemo can't do that jump, so... So... Okay, so you're not low enough to... I, what do you want from me? Like, I just do not understand. Uh... What? Like, whatever. Like, I don't get it. I don't know what you want. I know, I'm supp <sighs> Mighty Leap! Okay. So, you do that so that you can gain frog. Now you move super slowly. Like, there's no way you can cross there. Like, you can do the jump easily. But... Can you do the fire walk? Like, no. Okay, uh, I guess that could have been worse. I'm gonna remove you so that I can just do that. I don't know if that was a mistake or not. But it is a decision I made. Hey! Progress! Ugh. Wow! Okay. So, is this gonna be safe, or...? Looks like it. I mean... My beam goes upward only. Da, 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 da. Yeah. So, jump up, you monster! Okay, I can whack. I can, like, wait and whack. Alright, got it. Might be safe here. And it's like, yeah, go quick, buddy. Well, I went quick. I don't know if I buddied. B is here. Finally. It's been a while since. One whack of the morning star is not enough. Good. Good, good, good. Da, da, da. All right, so yeah, skin the water. Here's. There's no reason to fear the water. I mean, you'll get your pajamas wet, so you're gonna have a real bad night, but... 
actually not gonna be punctured by spikes, which would be a worse night, arguably. But, uh, so we go here. B is here. Kill B. You did it. You killed B. Alright, B is back. He flies in the same line, so... He's back again. He won't go away. Yeah, this is awkward. Uh, you know what? Awkward is better than dead. Okay, so you're chomping, you're bumping, you know, you're having yourself a meal. And I'm swimming. Oh, we're gonna have a fight here, aren't we? Maybe not! I guess not. Okay. So why is there just this lake here? Oh, the crocodile didn't spawn because of the bee! Well, you know what? I'll take no crocodile and bee? I don't know. Boss time. It's a shark, Ray. It's not a shark at all. It's a manta ray, and it does that. Okay. Uh, don't do that straight at me, please. I'm never gonna hit you. Okay, well. Whoa! Zwa! Okay, so be careful. Then it does things like that. That's when I hit him in the stupid face once. Oh boy, okay. Uh huh. Do it again. I missed there, but that's okay. Eyeballs open. Well, the eyelids covering the eyeballs open. So, like, the full, like, eye machinery open. But the eyeball should remain safely globble shaped. Oh, this is scary. Who would have thought a little Nemo would have the scariest boss fights? Is he just doing that forever now? No, but see. Eh! I hit him in the belly. Whoa, the jump dead end because I was still in landing state! Uh, but like, if I beat him and I game over, I'm starting all over again, right? Like, so now I'm down here like an idiot. So yeah, like, very, very easy to bop. Whoa, really? I have problems with this. And I start all over again? And like, I start all over again? Is that, is that what you're saying? I think I am, right? Because yeah, he's heading for bed. Can you dream of checkpoints, Nemo? I guess not. Yeah, fire is super large. Accurate. It's not a complicated boss by any means, right? It's just the rules of the game are against you. Like, I would probably do a lot more damage charging my thing, but like, I don't 
feel confident about like actually hitting him. Right? Because I'm never sure like how long he's gonna stay there. Okay, well... I don't know! I don't know, I don't have numbers! Whoa! Happy pause, phrase frame! But I know it's not over. Oh, boy, do I know it's not over. Alright. Weird, scary jount. Doing good. Uh, big, weird stone bridge. Alright, so far so good. Alright, big L platforms and droopy sky, not sky, grass. Same thing, basically. And shot to be in a butt. And didn't care much. I don't blame it. Wow, so this is still, like, super going, huh? That is wild. I don't know what I'm doing, but there's a bat. I tried to hit him with my morning star. There I hit him with a blast. Hey, it's a lizard. You might have seen this lizard friend before. Purple back with the green belly. And he instantly respawns. That's, that's what he does. Okay, and then we can go here and instantly get murked by a bat. Looking forward to game overing again. I'm not actually. I'm being sarcastic. Dodge around the bat. Uh, I'm allowed to take one hit before I die. Maybe I'll do this jump here eventually. There you go. Where's that bat? Alright, ah, well, there it is. That was that bat. Okay, okay, so I could have unsuited, and I didn't. Now I'm gonna be a bee. You might have heard of this guy. He's a little bee! Let's me fly and shoot out of my butt. The most powerful thing in this game. Okay, uh, I guess we're gonna go low here so I don't have to time with those smashers. Like, that's why this is offered as an option. And this, now you want me to mouse. What if I don't want to? Well, if the goal is to get way up there... Okay, I was afraid that you'd like move forward as soon as I landed on this cloud. Thus, dooming me forever. It didn't happen though. This is too high for a bee to climb! Said I gotta put a mouse to sleep. Fire gouts. Ah, instant egg. I am a little miserable. A little miserable. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I hate landing right next to this guy. Like, I feel like he's he can just decide to move. Alright, I have one whole hit I'm allowed to take, which is pretty exciting. Yeah, and I took that hit, but I was flashing because of the fire. I think that's the last boss there, hiding in the background. Oh, none of this feels great. Really? 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 Keeping the bee alive. I despawn all the smashers. That's pretty fun. Alright, so I'm switching to you so that maybe, like, I can wand birds. They're not even timed well. Yeah, that didn't help. That did not help at all. Alright, well, smaller hitbox this way, though. Egg. Mm hmm? It's a little repetitive, I don't know if you've noticed. Subtle. Subtle repetitiveness. <laughs> Can you give me, like, a health thing? Something? A health refill? Something? Something? How about something? No seed monster! Okay, thank you. And a 1-up. Yeah, I'll, I'll take that. Alright, get out of here. Alright, so we're heading down. 
That's what we're doing now. I don't know why this doesn't end. So, flying jump? Got it. Okay, another big health, but another. Oh boy. Okay. It's like, you know. It wouldn't need to give me a parodic level of one ups if you just, you know, let you continue between sections. Oh wow. Uh, Alright, well, you know what's fine? It's just water. Like, I, can even, I can even swim that if I want. You, you have to swim that if you want. Okay, alright. That was that section, the refuel section. These are the stairs. It's the stairs section. Just go, I guess. Okay, this is a fat. This is the last boss. I remember this. This is as far as I've made it as a young child. Um, point laser. So he spits out blood. He's having a nasty infection. I did that bad. I know that bigger blast. No, mean more damage. But you're sitting there being hyper vulnerable. Uh, the lives. No, well the lives only spawn. We're like right back at a boss. Like we're not even in the power up room. So. This is all about feeling the balance where you gotta get a hit in from time to time. And you know, and all that. But then, like, it's him, like, vomiting blood. Just gets in the way. Take better care of yourself, Nightmare King. Just because you're the king of nightmares doesn't mean you need to be a nightmare to yourself, you know? Self help is good. Well, self help. That's not a thing. Self-care? I don't think that makes a bit more sense. I mean, the real last boss is the freaking level being a marathon of madness. It's Nightmare Land! It's supposed to be a nightmare. You know, they make it a nightmare by being, making it a nightmare. Oh, your blood keeps being in a way, though. Like, how many donations do you take? Oh, shoot. Stupid blood clot. Like, whoa, and it's back. Alright. So, it never really leaves until you destroy it. Important data point, I feel that is important. Mists, because now it's gonna be like, okay, no, this, this one went away. Woo! I wasn't sure about that one. Hit you in the face, hit you somewhere. Dang it, I'm bad at this game. No! That blood claw is bugging me, okay. Yeah, alright. And I might die at any moment. Because I'm one hit away, mostly, that's why I'm saying that. Okay, so if it goes off the screen on the side, it will despawn. Alright, yeah. Mm hmm. That's an exciting sound effect that I have available now. Just log on to my YouTube channel and you'll hear it at that exact point of video. Oh boy. That now, though. Exciting. All right, blast you in the face. Like your friends take a billion hits, so I'm assuming you're gonna take a billion and one. Oh, or not? What? The manor way was harder. <laughs> well, I don't know if it continues past this. I've never beaten this part as a kid. How did I even get here as a kid? No, it is. There's Morpheus from the Matrix. Uh, who can I ever thank you, Nemo? Whoa! Yeah, it's like Caesar tree plants. I was just keeping it cool, keeping my promise to the princess. Looks so gormless. Just look at his face. Extrapolate Nemo's current mood by his facial expression. Do it right now. I bet Camille would be. Thrilled, <laughs> man. The just they have not given each of them themselves a lot of text to work with on a screen by screen basis. This was a plot point in the comic, though. At some point, Nemo and the princess do become friends, and they go on dream adventures, and shenanigans happen. I don't remember a lot of the details, but because a lot of details don't really matter. But you know, there was a place with a mushroom forest and all that. Like, you know, this is a thing. Oh, but... 
Mom keeps shouting at me. Morpheus was off screen. Whoa, what? Yeah. Whoa! I don't know why he's starting doing that. Look at this huge coat. Cause my mother, I'd wake up early. Oh, Nemo. Just stay in a coma. It's way more fun here, right? Uh, but he'll come back every night. That's right, all he needs to do. Ensuring that Nemo never gets any rest. Can I come back some other night? Yeah, you just need to. No, well, he wouldn't need to redo all that because Morpheus would would stay. Maybe just Morpheus without the E. That's that's the Matrix speaking. It's just Morpheus, like that's a god of sleep from somewhere. Oh my gosh, she wants to kiss! Look! See that mouth shape and close- Yeah, she's a pro- Run away, Nemo! He got exactly what he didn't. You know, it just, it just happened that way. This is the bad ending, because I died too often. But there's a sweet blimp in front of the moon. It's the blimp. The blimp that the dream people ride. Yeah, because Dreamland is like a place. It's like Subcon. Ugh. I don't know if I would have made the blim go behind the clouds like that, though. <laughs> Rise and shine! It is a beautiful day! The Millennial Fair is out today. Yeah! He's so happy to be out of that nightmare! Look at him! He's looking at the staff that he lost. It's called a Morning Star. All right, we're in the era of nicknames. Uh, can't get all your workers poached, so they're not allowed to credit themselves as themselves. Uh, we do get amusing names like Pom Pom, but it's probably not worth it. I mean, you know, you should be allowed to use an Elias if you want to in the credits. It's just, you know, it wasn't an option. It wasn't if you wanted to. Character design by Windsor McKay, I mean, Unatsu. That's his Elias. Well, technically speaking, that would be the character design, yeah, for like, you know, sprite them up, right? And like, you know, you gotta, it's an adaptive work. You gotta adapt. You need a character designer to adapt from one to another. Like, that's normal. Programmer by Elio. Lion did all the programming. Right, the game is fun. The game is genuinely a lot of fun. The core of the game ended up being a little bit easier other than levels 2 and 3, which are weirdly hard. And World 8 was a complete nightmare that I felt bad going through because just it, it's, you're doing three levels in a row. Four levels in a row. I mean, three bosses, yeah. Like, why? <laughs> Tell you why. It's because these kids in America are doing things like renting instead of buying. I mean, all that meant, did, like, the fact that the last boss level is a nightmare didn't mean that I bought the game, just meant that I rented it multiple times. No one's a winner in this transaction, Capcom! No matter how fanciful the scripting of the clouds is when they write the end in the otherwise completely empty sky. Maybe there's a skywriter. He just worked real fast. Stealth skywriting! This is a bop, though, this music. Next time! A Japanese game with pixels. Kind of like this one. Just, you know, a lot more modern and a lot more different. 